Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Espace. This TechRef video will cover encrypting Maxell scripts. If you are using Maxell to do batch scripting in your Espace environment, you may have scripts that have plain text usernames and passwords in them. In this example script, admin and password in the login statement and username1 and password1 in the import database statement are usernames and passwords that anyone who has access to the file can read. This isn't very secure. Fortunately, the Maxell shell gives us an easy way to encrypt these usernames and passwords to add a level of security. The first step is to generate a public-private key pair to use for encryption and decryption. At a command prompt, type ESSMSH-GK. This will give you a public key for encryption and a private key for decryption. Be sure to record these keys in a secure location where you won't misplace them. You will use these keys to encrypt your scripts and decrypt your scripts when you run them. The second step is to encrypt the Maxell script using the public key. The syntax for this is ESSMSH dash capital E, the script file name, in my example, myscript.mxl, and then the public key string. The output of this command is a new encrypted file named myscript.mxls. The new file name is created from the original file name with an S appended to the extension, indicating it is a secure encrypted file. Here is what the new encrypted file looks like. You can see that the Sbase username and password in the login statement have been replaced with encrypted strings. The same has happened with the SQL username and password in the import database statement. The encryption process works on all usernames and passwords in the file, not just on Sbase usernames and passwords. The third and final step is to run the encrypted Maxell script. This command would typically appear in a batch script and is the equivalent of executing a non-encrypted Maxell script. In this step, we use the other half of the key pair, the private key. The command syntax is ESSMSH-D, the encrypted file name, in my example, myscript.mxls, and finally, the private key string. Notice the log output shows the encrypted strings. The decryption is done internally, so no information is given away here. Some final tips. Test your Maxell script before you encrypt it. If your script has syntax errors, the Maxell parser may fail to encrypt some usernames and passwords. Also, delete your original script after you have tested the encrypted script. Remember, the original still contains plain text usernames and passwords and isn't secure. Depending on the version of Espace you're using, you may need to use start Maxell instead of ESSMSH. Finally, don't lose your key pair. There is no way to recover a pair of keys that are lost.